record behind. Miss your favorite show? Download the podcast at kcaaradio.com. KCAA. I love San Bernardino County Radio Show on KCA NBC 106.5 FM 1050 AM. Well, we will talk politics, culture, and history. What's up, team? We got a full house in the stadium. Hey. Hey. Oh, we'll start over there with Jesse. What's up, Jesse? How you been doing? I'm doing great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go ahead, introduce yourself, Kim. I am Kim Kanaz, candidate for San Bernardino City Council Ward Five. Awesome. This is Ipiani Locker, the Motivational Realizations. Hey, my name is Elizabeth Cruz. I'm with the Elks Lodge Number 836 Antler Youth Group. Good evening. I'm Letty Briggs with the San Bernardino YMCA. And uh, uh, I'm Robert Porter. Uh, mm -hmm. I love San Bernardino. Commissioner uh, with the Arts and Historical Preservation Commission. And I just came from an event at our uh, Court Street Square. Oh, I don't know. That's not me. <laughs> but we came from Court Street Square. Christmas tree lighting? Yes. All right, team. I'll get it out real quick. It didn't light up right away, but it did light up in like 30 seconds. Amen, so it, amen. So, but it, you'll see the video. We'll give them a break. But, yeah. but wow. <laughs> Santa made a huge entrance with Frosty and mm. his whole team of elves. It looks like they had presents. Um, the ice skating was open. Beautiful. It was beautiful to take a picture in front of the tree. All, I think I saw every council member. I, I'm pretty sure. I think yeah, I think I saw yeah. everyone. So uh, um, I even saw Fred Shred uh, wander on up into there <laughs> so right, at the last right. second. So everybody made it. And uh, the people were there, too. There was a lot of kids dressed oh, good. up. Oh, nice. Right? nice. So when, when you get kids enjoying stuff, that means they will create good memories, which will create nostalgia in the future, mm. and they will want to do these things in our area. So I am on it with that. So the other thing is we just donated a hundred dollars for motivational realization and i love I, sam Rodino, robert yeah, porter amy uh, i i set it up at the last second with a uh, liddy gutfeld uh, amy gave the money to liddy uh muda dj okay, muda awesome one of my favorite djs hey, ever now. he announced it and they got it on video beautiful, so uh beautiful um thank you so much for putting thank that you. forward thank you and uh they they were you know those kids are gonna be stoked so Amen. she's gonna do random ones and just go yeah that's beautiful right. that's beautiful so, that, that get a lot of kids out. So Amen. It's so fun, right? Amen. Amen. And it's it's synthetic ice. It's synthetic ice team. I free for it. They they don't. So you guys understand with a with a live feed for I Love San Bernardino, they don't allow landscape mode anymore. So you yeah. guys gotta do that. I don't know. You gotta I don't, squeeze I, in time. I don't understand why. But <laughs> for the radio, you don't mind. It don't matter. But uh, it was a great event. I did have I, I, I snuck out of there quick, but uh, you know I still had like five conversations as I was leaving. So that means that it was a good event. Beautiful. You know yeah. I, I saw a lot of people that I hadn't seen in a while. So mm. getting back together, man. COVID didn't take everything away, right? Amen. 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 Yeah, and, but I did have my uh, trusty uh, little spray. I don't, I don't have any. 
that little spray that San Bernardino gives for your alcohol spray. Oh, okay. Oh. Hand sanitizer. And I was like, yeah. I, was like everybody, oh, I thought you were going to say pepper spray. <laughs> no, no. no this was, this, if, if I did pepper spray in the eyes, it wouldn't be these people. Because I was like, County Supervisor Baca, would you like some uh, San Bernardino love? Oh, uh, 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 seventh Ward. Uh, uh, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. But, yeah, so uh, it was fun. It was I don't know what San Rodeo needs right now. Mm. We need to be able to get together and have Amen. fun. All right. Well, uh, I'd like to mention our sponsor, Celebrities Bar and Grill over on 40th Street. Uh, Max Iyer and uh, Zoe are doing some incredible things in, in, in this community. They've opened up a new Juice It Up. They're, uh, I, I, they either bought or they're for JJ's. They own JJ's now. Awesome. And uh, they were working with Brandy know. Iron. I'm not sure how all that worked out. That is going to be because, awesome. Because the uh, Brandy Iron, the problem was, is the roof itself Needs was work. needed work, and the the owner was just not willing to cut mm. the money for it. So you know, they're, big building. Yep, yeah, that's yes, probably a lot yes. of money. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Roofs can take you out. Mm. It, yeah. it can actually uh, bankrupt you. Right, Definitely. so you have. You, I understand that point, but maybe you know Max can make some moves. You know, go I, for it. I hope so. It's a it's a um, wonderful location. You know, it'd be right sad to lose it, it, but would. Yeah. I feel like yeah. I've been in the city since 1984. I remember my mom used to go there and learn a country dance. Like, did did like, you go to college night? From yeah, Cal State. Yeah. Yes. Hey. Go Yodis. Go Yodis. That uh, really made me sad. I, I mean, I. I've, ne I've never really been kicked out. I've been uh, escorted I've been out. I've been guided but... out. <laughs> but I have seen people kicked out, and I have had plenty of friends that were kicked out. I I, I We've had a lot of our, our, what I call, like, our landmarks, like, stardust. Like, oh, go yeah. away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I'm really hoping. Like, oh, I did, too. Mm -hmm. I think but th that's kind of a sad part of the story, though. Like, mm -hmm. I was going to Stardust before mm. it burned down. Yeah. Right? But Elementary. nobody else was. It was a field trip that yeah. we used it to go was, to in yeah. North yep. Park. Yep. yep. Oh, we but were a yeah. lot of the elementary yeah. schools went yeah. Yeah. Every I single year, I all the junior know. highs, everybody <laughs> would go to that. But the thing was, is like at the end when they needed us the most, no one was going. Mm. Right? That's what yeah. just, yeah. then it closed down, right? Mm. So, you know, like that's what it is. Like Brandon Iron 2, I have to admit, I had, I've not been there in a long time. Yeah. Right? So it's up to us, team. We, no, we, we, have to, we have to utilize these businesses like celebrities if we want them to be around for another 40 years. Word up. Word Go up. to Green Shack and order a deli sandwich. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> Head over to the Fire Marisco's or, or uh, Mimi's Cafe. Oh, wait, 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 not, what's the one on? Uh, Sundowners. Sundowners, yeah, oh. Sundowners. There's another one over there, though. Uh, oh. uh, Anna's? Like the cafe one on East Street. Street, oh, oh, Joby's. Joby's, Joby's yeah. Diner. There Joby's you go. Diner. So, yeah, these are the kinds of things we got to shop at. So, thank you, Max, for doing what you do. I did go to Juice It Up, his new spot out there on Cal, Cal, Cal Mesa off of Cherry Avenue, and good stuff there. Unfortunately, someone had broken the window already on him, man. man. It's hard to be a business owner nowadays, huh? Definitely. And I actually want to speak into the security over there. Uh, there were several issues in that same area. So, mm. I'm like, even, even Cala Mesa has issues wow. over there, right? So, like, nice. it's not just yeah. San Bernardino team. This, this, this is this uh, law kind of lawlessness, kind of uh, is is around the whole United States yes, in, in a little bit of a form, yeah, it and is. it does well, coincide I, with the increase of fentanyl mm. and in in mixtures of fentanyl and other drugs. That tells me that it could be related. Well, it coincides yeah. with a lot of the recent legislation. There's mm. been a lot of legislation that's coming down the pipeline that really isn't conducive to holding people accountable. Mm. Yeah, I'm well, also because a, holding them accountable costs so much money nowadays. Uh, I don't yeah. know that it's a money it's issue. It's like $47,000 to house an inmate for a year, right? It's more than that. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like that, that. that that's yeah. more money than I make in two years, man. I'm poor boy. You know, I would love to see the amount of money that we use to incarcerate individuals each and every year. If we made those same kind of investments in those exact same people prior to their um, interactions with the system. Imagine if we invested fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars in each individual in our community each year. You know what I mean? Yeah. The opportunities that they could find and the way they could utilize and dive you, into you their passions, you know. Build a business. No, you ain't just getting the money. Definitely. You, 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 you're going to be held accountable. We want to see the accounting. It has to be done right, right? And, but, like, we're going to pay 
to show you how to do that. I think what's sad right? though and, is know? there are opportunities out there. People like you that have mm -hmm. organizations. There's a lot of nonprofits, especially within the city of San Bernardino. Just like we were mentioning, Uplift San Bernardino. Mm -hmm. I work for Youth Action Project. I'm currently the director of operations. That's what uh, we shout focus out to on. Williams yes, in the house. exactly. But the problem is, it's the communication. Mm -hmm. It's us getting that information out. Um, you know, I was a senior field representative for uh, County Supervisor Joe Baca Jr. I helped initiate College and Career Day. Because it's a fact that, you know, kids in their senior year sometimes, they have no clue what they want to do. Right. So, yeah. yeah. So yeah. we created a forum, so to speak, with different businesses, different yeah. vocational trainings, to let them know this is what's out there for you. College isn't for everyone, we get that. Yes. But if that's not the route for you, these are other routes that you can take. These are other opportunities for you. But we do have to do a little bit better. Yes. Yep. Really? Exposure makes there's you all, There's always room for improvement. Yeah. You just reminded me, I have just been invited to the 2030 vision Excellent. of the San Bernardino Unified School District. I am going to be a community representative Excellent. and uh, give a little more than they think I'm going to. Um, but uh, I'm going to be honest with them, and I want to make sure the experience for the kids through 2030 is going to be worthwhile, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to have some early San Bernardino history, at least, in there, right? Amen. And Amen. hopefully some, some more modern stuff as well. Amen. So that will be my angle, is to integrate our local history, not just San Bernardino, but if you're in Highland and that's your school, but you're part of the San Bernardino Unified School District, well, then you should learn some Highland history as well, right? Yes, indeed. Just yes, like indeed. we're doing with Native American cultures now. James Ramos, uh, Assemblyman Ramos, spearheaded that movement to teach local indigenous cultures, Definitely. right? From the area, that makes sense. We should do the same thing Definitely. with other things as well. Give some, give people something to be proud of, that there's many of people that have grown up here and went on to do great success and make great impactful changes in the world. And we could be the same, such as McDonald's, you know, started here, Xerox, you know. Oh, it's like a lot of things that went on to influence them. I believe was how, I believe so, but yeah. I could be wrong. Yes, yes. 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 And then we have one of the um, best animatronic um, studios in the world here. Lost, but they're in the Redlands now. Well, they're in the county, yeah, yeah, yeah. San Bernardino yeah, County, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, biggest yeah. the biggest yeah. county in the country. You know, that's why I'll be repping. Uh, so, it's so a good thing. Thank you for everything you've done for the schools. That, that just brought up, you know, to the fact that we can help the schools is the way we help our future. Amen. Yeah. Up. San Bernardino, I always say, created me. So, mm -hmm. what I want to do is plant a thousand acorns that will. Maybe one or two will grow into that great oak that will help our area, San Bernardino, and yeah. stay here and live. Beautiful. Be part of our community Amen. for the rest of their lives. Amen. All right, um, thank you, Max, for everything you do. I appreciate you. And uh, oh, uh, Manel over at Green Shack, too. Yes, awesome. Indeed. Yes, indeed. Um, standout of the week. Um, to, oh, to, oh. What is your Man. cousin's name? Yeah. Eric. Yeah. Eric Hernandez. Yeah. Eric Hernandez. Yes. I'm sorry, Eric. I wrote it down but for That's what you call a brain fart. Can you say that on the radio? <laughs> but Eric Hernandez, he goes around our community with his team. Um, I, I believe there's not a pastor. Right? His wife goes with him. Yep. And they, uh, they, they call it putting their hands on people and lay they hands. give them prayer. Lay, lay hands. hands. Yep. And some people think that they don't agree with that. Some people do, whatever. But to me, what it is is interaction with others out there in our community at, during a time when they're pretty much scowl, like people look at them very badly, mm -hmm. right? So if you're a homeless person and it's 10 o'clock at night, no one wants to be near you usually. So to have someone that goes out with a team and just ask them how they are and mm -hmm. give them a hug, I mean, can't be anything better than that. Recognizing their humanity, yeah. you know? I mean, Christian, I mean, uh, even if, even if, you know, this isn't happening, but even if Satanists or atheists or whatever were yeah. doing that, right? I would still act. be like, thank you I hear. for going well, it's out. Human yeah. touch. Yes. It is. You know, yeah. it's that. Yes, yeah, so and, they, and they probably can't get a lot of human touch right. either, right? So that is just awesome to me. And I thank you for, for you know, he's always supposed to, and I love San Bernardino. And uh, that, that makes me realize, wow, he does care about our community. Amen. He does his thing. So thank you very much, Eric Hernandez. San Bernardino Standout of the Week. And that is brought to us by Ben Chavez with First Lineage Site Services. Thank you, Ben, for everything you do. Thank Rock. you, Ben. Thank you, Ben. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Um, we have to mention that we have uh, the Community Ho-Ho Parade. And it starts today, but it ends at Nunez Park. So it's already started, but it ends at Nunez Park. 
at 8 o'clock. So if you guys want to go over there and end there, you can go over to Nunez Park. But there also will be the whole parade um, December 5th, 6th, and 7th. Um, you can go on a, a Community Ho-Ho Parade uh, Facebook page, and they have all the routes, and they actually go live feed. Uh -huh. So you can follow them right where they're going right there. So here, here's the, the, the next one, December 5th, Route 5 will be at Western Regional Little League, and it will go to Wildwood. On Wednesday, December 6th, it's Route 6. It will go from Blair Park to Court Street Square. And on Thursday, December 7th, we'll go from Christian Church of SB to Paris Hill Senior Center, the YMCA. And uh, that is always a fun one, too. Um, that's one of my favorite to go to. And then we'll go over there and see uh, another former San Bernardino Stand of the Week, Doug Wheeler. But you won't really see him. He'll just be there. Yeah, there might be Santa. Yeah, there might be Santa there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but he's a great Santa. Yeah, he's incredible. Oh, he's my God. Guy. And guy. Mrs. Claus, she's amazing as well. Yes, she is. Mm -hmm. um, Jody, very yes. good, very nice lady. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the significant other of a third ward councilman, Juan Figueroa. Yes. Uh, she's uh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. She is. Very all sweet. right. Uh, and she, all, she, they always do the um, turkey trot and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that they participate. <laughs> I participated. I participated. Uh, Did you do it? TK. You kick your butt, too. Yeah, we need to get you another medal, man. Yeah. I saw her today. I should have mentioned <laughs> Um, December 10th at Christmas in the Hood. I have to mention this because next week, Prez Street, uh, Family Street Food will be in here to discuss their event that happens next Sunday, which is December 10th, Christmas in the Hood, from 12 to 6 p.m. at the Fraternal Order of Eagles, 895 East 9th Street. Um, the Family Street Food is Henry and his wife are some good people that just started doing things on their own, right? And then more people come. More people yeah. come, and then they join forces with others, and you know that's how San Bernardino grows these huge events. That's collaboration, right. absolutely. And I appreciate that. I don't get to go to all their things, and I want to, but I just don't get to. But I do appreciate what they do. I'm sorry I couldn't get them in, squeeze them on this one for their event on Sunday, but I'll, you know, bring them yeah, in to talk on. about what happened at their event. So that Very will be nice. good too. Amen. And uh, we do appreciate anything that helps San Bernardino, especially in the hood, right? Hey. <laughs> and then, last but not least, December 9th at 10 a.m., the 46th annual Children's Christmas Parade at the Woo! YMCA. Yay! So uh, tell us what's going on, Letty. Oh, my God. We have an amazing lineup of dignitaries. Uh, just to name a few, we have James Ramos, Joe Baca Jr., Assemblymember Ramos! Yes, yes. Supervisor Baca! Yes, and Mayor Helen Tran. Mayor um, Helen Tran! San Bernardino Police Chief Darren Goodman. Woo! We have uh, representatives of the council as well. Uh, Councilman Damon Alexander, right. uh, Sandra Ibarra, Kimberly Calvin, and we have Felicia Alexander joining us from the San Bernardino Unified School District right. uh, Board of Supervisors. Are you making them walk? No, they will what? be in vehicles. <laughs> in our car. Wait, wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. They will be in vehicles. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Well, I was just thinking, since they get paid to go to these things, maybe they should walk and we should ride in the cars. Let me think on that. All right. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. <laughs> but we do so, need to get Robert Porter in a car in, in one of these well, parades in the near future. Uh, yes, I yes. do have fun walking, though. But see, it, it's, it's no, a great event. No, you need to ride. Because I, I, I march with the Native Sons of the Golden okay. West. But... The Inland Empire Prospector and Miners, are they going to be will the parade be there, yes. too? And they will be at the Jubilee also, oh, okay. mining for gold with yep, the kids. So I um, will be, I'll, I, hopefully I'll plan, maybe they'll be right next right, to each other. Next I can each walk other. in between yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but it is a lot of fun, team. I always get, get shout outs for I Love San Bernardino and for, uh, for you know, just love in general mm -hmm. for the holidays. So please show up. So we're really excited to have the parade. Like as Robert said, it's our 46th annual parade. And kickoff time is 10 o'clock, and the route will begin at Highland and Valencia and go east on Highland Avenue down to the, um, I still call it the 66ers baseball field, but it's been years it's since. Well, what is, is it, it called? Is it a town state baseball? No, Sam 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 well, you yeah, were the big yeah. the baseball where the tennis field. courts are at. Yeah. yeah no, so uh, the parade Paris will Paris end Paris. there. Okay. And then the immediately spirits, following the, the parade, spirits. spirit, that's yeah. it. Um, immediately after the parade, back at the YMCA at 808 East 21st Street, we will have a jubilee. We'll have um, pictures with Santa, entertainment from the local elementary schools, 
and arts and crafts and just all kinds of family oriented activities going on. Fun things for and, and, and gold panning. Yeah, yeah and then the miners will be there. I'll be at the gold panning booth. You will <laughs> they see me set there. up this huge display and they let the kids uh, pan for gold. Oh, wow. yeah. And it's really exciting. And, so. and, and it's, it's actually a cheap way to have fun with the kids, really. It is. An yeah. affordable way. Yeah, it affordable is. fun. It is. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's totally free for the kids, but I, I think they, you know, like I'll go out and collect uh, Jasper and mm -hmm. or I'll give them what fossils that I have. And then we get. We give out fossils and rocks for donations. Beautiful. And then those go into the treasures that they find when they when, when they actually do that. It's the, really yeah, cool. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. So there's that's fake gold, cool. but also within the pay dirt, there's real gold. So you find the fake gold first, mm -hmm. and then that, then you tell them it's fake gold. And they get so <laughs> excited. <laughs> well, no, no. Sometimes they're like, <clears throat> they don't want fake gold. No. They want to really, make a change. Yeah. But then when, you, when you go a little lower and you show them the real gold, and then you show, then they're like, "That's real gold." And then so they got the gold fever. They'll be taking all the black sand. You know, you know, anything that like black sand is really important when it comes to finding a gold. Right. So. Uh, we always tell them to look for that, and then, you know, then they want to keep the black sand too. <laughs> yeah, right. It, it sounds like it's going to be a great place for me to be selling some shovels there. There you, yeah. go. there you go. There you go. You, you, I love your business, yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely, definitely. Pick shovels, Levi's. That's, I mean, the, the merchants are what got rich in the 49er, right? <laughs> That's what I heard. I mean, yeah. I, yeah. You know. definitely, definitely. So we're excited, Robert. Thank it's you. It's going to be much. a great event. Yes, it, it will is. Be. And uh, um, this is. How many events for you? How long are you doing? Uh, this is my second parade. Okay. Yeah. So, but it's so you, there. But, but you just uh, retired with the San Bernardino City, right? Yes, I was with the city of San Bernardino for about 33 years. So, so you, yeah. she was working so, hard on all the other events, right? Yeah. <laughs> it was fun. It, you know, these kind of things are very near and dear to me, and you have to have you have to enjoy what you're doing, and doing these kind of community events is very. I enjoy it a lot, and I like to see all the kids and their smiles and their. They just get so excited, and that's what we want to see. We want to see excitement back in our youth. Amen. Well, thank yes. you. Thank you for your service to the so, city, oh. and also thank you now for the service that you're doing for our community. Well, thank and, you. And, and what would you like to uh, add, Elizabeth? I, I, I used to work with Lethe over at the YMCA, and, and I'm with her. My passion is youth. I'm a retired educator for the district. I taught physical education for almost 30 years, um, elementary. And my passion is kids. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, there you go. Let me. Let me <laughs> o. L. P. E. A. L. E. Y. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I sure was. You still got it. You still got it. That was from Mr. McGarry, team. Oh, yes, I know very well. Dr. McGarry. Airview Braves over here. Oh, watch out. Well, he was at the Golden Valley Knights. Yeah. Yeah. Road Dr. runners in the yeah. house. Yeah. 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 All right, now since we're claiming okay? stuff. Yes, yes, I'm going to pause. Hold up. Okay. All right, I'm time at 15 I'm, seconds. Okay. I'll make this one. Um, I, I love my job, and I retired about six years ago. It was just time. Mm. Just, you know, you just know. You get up and you know. I still love the passion of children, and I am um, affiliated with the El San Bernardino Elks Lodge. And I also, just so that you know, I have youth that I work with that are a part of my group, which is the Antlers organization. and. Uh, we do a lot of community service for the city of San Bernardino. You like your antlers. I, yeah, thank you. I want I wanted the brown ones, but that's okay. So um, my passion with this is that we're trying, I have the same passion that you do. I consider these students little seeds. baby, like little seeds. I'm planting seeds of, okay. of wholesomeness. I'm trying to. Goodness, um, caring, love, and passion within our city. That's yeah. I was born and raised in San Bernardino. And um, I, I plan on dying in San Bernardino. Mm -hmm. I have no desire to go anywhere else. It's just, it's in, just not in, worth it. In, in 50 years. Maybe, maybe yeah. even 20. Who knows? Uh, but I know. <laughs> I plan on staying. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm, I'm, I want to, I want to try to make the difference. And what we're doing right now is we are working. And I'm taking these off because they're falling. I'm working with um, the San Bernardino City Unified School District. Awesome. Um, nice. Atlas program. They deal with all the the homeless kids that are identified right now at this time. We have about 4,000 students that are identified mm -hmm. homeless, which in, consists in, in of... In our school district? Yes. Oh, and that's wow. low compared to two years ago, which was almost seven. Yeah. Well, well, that's actually okay. good then. So it is. Better, yeah. And a lot of it has gone to... They've moved um, out of state. A lot of people have moved and left the district. But c just so that you know, the homeless students are consisting of children that are in cars, multifamilies in one dwelling home, garages, parks, tents, 
um, pretty much all of that, and just out there, just nowhere. Now, now is, isn't there a, a state program to stipend these students? That I'm going to be totally honest with yeah. you. I am not quite familiar with that. What I what yeah. I do know is what's going on in the school district. I, I'm, I'm hoping that, that maybe they look into it, because I, I did see something where there was a $1,000 stipend that they were working with students that, uh, um, you know, homeless students. So what yeah. my organization, I should say my, our kids do and the organization from the Elks Lodge is we, I'm the coordinator. I've been doing this for about eight years now. And so we are, it's grown. My goal is to try to reach 300 kids. Wow. Right now it's only at about 100, maybe 120. That's still amazing. It's still, right. Yeah. So, so just so that you know, our, the kids that my youth group, we have officers, we have bylaws, we have, we follow all protocol. They, they work, actually are learning how to do um, serving and, and being in the kitchen to raise tip money to be able to provide the gifts for the kids that comes from the school district. So we just received a grant from the Elks organization for $2,500, which was gonna cover our food. Thank yeah. you, Elks. Yeah, our food, our entertainment, which is gonna be a face painter, a balloon artist, um, music, our music is going to be donated. It's going to be a DJ. We have not had that yet, so I'm super excited. So, so all those dinners that I ate up there are paid off? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Have you eaten at the Oaks? I have not. No. Well, I'll have to it, give you that invitation. Yeah, Matter of so fact, I'm going to give you this. There has to be a club that you're going to. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's, it's, a, it's right by Chris Galini. I have so. eaten there before. I there was at so. an event and I did oh, have dinner yeah. there. Yeah. Oh. I did. So, yeah. so we're so we're promoting yes. we're promoting um, any anybody who's interested in donating anything. We're looking for for gift cards. We're looking for uh, health and hygiene type of things. I just had a, a young man. He, I'm going to put him out there. This is Eddie Ordaz from. He works for the dentist office. We're just getting 100 bags of all kinds of dental. Things thank you, Eddie. Out. Thank, yeah, you, thank Eddie. you, Eddie. Yeah, Eddie. Um, yep, and so we're, we're trying to make a difference in the city with the homeless kids because we want them to know that there is hope and people do care. And the best thing about this is that the youth is probably a lot of the same ages of what, who we serve, mm -hmm. and I want them to know that it's not adults doing this, it's student to student. And that, to me, is crucial, especially being in education for as long as I was. And I, I heard a little elf come down before I walked into the studio. He said, um, Robert Porter and Motivational Realizations, we're going to do a $50 donation to help out. Oh! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He wasn't on the show for sure. <laughs> yeah, well, he wasn't on the show. He was active in the community, just like each of y'all. Woo! Yep. Where motivational I... Realizations. Yes. Whoa! Robert Porter. Where can people send the donations yes. to? So the donations, you can either, um, we well, can call the, the Elks office. It's 909-882-2090. Or you can call me. My number is 909-800-0998. Or if you want to make a check out to, um, to our cause, make sure in the footnote that you put down Antler Christmas, even though we do things throughout the entire mm -hmm. year. And the address is 30836. Uh, that's post office box San Bernardino 92413. Um, we are willing to take pretty much anything. We just, I got to give a big shout out though to Arrowhead United Way. They just gave us a, a bunch of shoes, which our kids usually ask for jackets, mm -hmm. shoes, socks, thank and you, blankets. Gwen. Yeah. So, Gwen Daddy, Dr. Gwen, thank you very much. So, and, and Tanya, Tanya Rhodes Hensley. Oh, yeah, Tanya. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah. yep. She's Tanya's the one. Amazing. She She's been, hooked she, me she up. Yep. yep. Love Tanya. Tanya. Props for that one right there. Good <laughs> Thank job. you, Tanya. And so any t anything you can do, I even need volunteers to come and help out. If you're interested in coming to help out December 20th, give me a call. I There's plenty of work mm -hmm. to be done there. How about the wrapping paper and stuff? We have a lot any, of that. Any questions, Jess? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I put, them on, I put yeah. the other host on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> we support San Bernardino, guys. Good job. Us. Give us, help us. Yes. It, and you're helping... A segment of San Bernardino that needs oh, it yeah. bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Man. Yep. Amen. I'm serious. Like it, like that. I couldn't even imagine how hard it would have been to, to go to school and, and try not to have, focus. Yeah. 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 You know, and I'm really quiet right now because I'm actually taking a lot in. And this is the part that I'm hearing these great suggestions, and I hear that everyone here is connected. Can you imagine if we just did like a caravan? to different high school auditoriums, inviting the parents and having guest speakers as business owners, natives from San Bernardino mm -hmm. saying, you know, how they were able to achieve success and still stay in, you know, in the area. Right. So that would be, you know, I mean, if you guys so, already so, have so, the keys. So there I mean, is, 
things called career days, and I participate in all of those. I can't. But like, you're, what you're doing is a little more specific than that. Right. Yeah. And I've spoken. So I, I have like three different presentations for elementary school and junior high schools, and career days. I mean, that is what actually inspired me when I was a kid. When I, you know, when I went to SBHS Cardinals for life. Oh. Right? So, you know, while I was now you there, um, I, I remember oh, pirates where... Pirates their... Yeah, pirates, yeah! yeah. 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 But um, I remember during the auditorium, we had a guest speaker, and the guy, like, literally showed up in, like, Ben Davis. He was all, you know, just big clothes. Big old essay looking dude, right? And I just remember him, like, you know, like taking his shirt off and, you know, unbuckling his pants because he was actually wearing a business outfit oh, underneath. Wow. Oh, wow. And it was, I mean, the Surprise. moral of the story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just because you start here doesn't mean you end here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. is what, you know, I'm into. So I'm sure that we could, uh, I mean, we got the right connects. That's a, that's a, that's a yep, good book. So. promising. It might be Absolutely. something we might be able to do in Ward 5 in the near future. Ah, yeah. I love it. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm a cowgirl. I went to Cajon, so. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> we, it's okay. We don't, we don't blame you. We, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But no, I love it. And I, thank you guys. This is what we need. This is what community looks like. Yeah, Coming absolutely. together, the collaboration. One thing that I find that's kind of tragic in our city is the silos. Mm -hmm. um, we need more unity in our yes. community. Yeah. That's what's going to help us really realize true progress. So we, I we, love we, this. What do, you mean, what do you mean by silos? What do you mean? Silos. So a lot of say, like different groups, different oh, agendas, okay. you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 like bringing everyone together, which exactly. is... Exactly. Was the main goal of I Love San Bernardino initially was to, to, to say, stop hating San Bernardino, mm -hmm. right? Because, because uh, you know, the there was a, there was, was, was a page called, uh, you know, you're from San Bernardino if. Right. And, and, and <laughs> yeah. Garrett, Bra Garrett Basserfield or whatever ran that thing, and he just let people just tear San Bernardino apart. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you that straight to your face, dude. And he comes on I Love San Bernardino, and he still gets negative. Right, mm -hmm. but I quit that page because he was negative. Right, well, you know, I, someone came to me and said, "You start a new page, new group." That's why I called Alex Bernardino. Stop that and hate and everything. What mm -hmm. I realized after that it was they like, bring people together, and they just started coming together. And then I realized, wow, this is not just San Bernardino. We got people from Rialto and Colton County, mm -hmm. Highland. Even Redlands yes. joining the group, I'm like, this is a bigger thing. Why is there 3,000 people from Victorville? What's going on here? Well, it's because we're all connected here. People that moved to Victorville may have been born here, vice versa, right? Yes. Yeah. And we, we kind of move around together. So we should be a team. It's just we got this huge mountain range, right? right. Well, and, and honestly, Robert, that's the reason why I'm thinking what I'm thinking. Because if we are sitting down with the YMCA and the Elks Lodge, and keep in mind, if we put our resources together, it wouldn't be 2,500. It would be 20,000. Mm -hmm. And that's Do you know how many kids I could service with that kind dense. of money? Can you? I mean, we are, and I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean sure. to cut you off. But right now, because of the, we started off, when we started this eight years ago, we had $25, $30 per, per student sure, because right it was, the economy yeah. was great. Now we've gone up to $65 because everything's so pricey. Mm -hmm. But can you imagine how many kids we could service mm -hmm. with that? Right, and, and that's why, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm going on a, on a rant right now, but if we had, you know, the different zones, right, Ward 4, 5, each one of them has a school, each one of them yeah. has an auditorium, and if we just said, hey, for this week, we're all gonna meet here, and we basically unite. By the way, my last name's Jesse Morphin, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yeah. Yeah. So, you, know, you know, it's about time we like morph into something together. I want to instead be the of point. there you go. <laughs> See, instead of all of us doing stuff separately. Yeah. I want to be the White Ranger. Hey, that's you got it. You'll be surprised how you many get a people. cookie for that. One. Yeah. Okay. These, these, these are from like, you guys. You're welcome to have some cookies. But you'd be uh, surprised how many people still have so much faith in our city. Absolutely. I mean, I, you know, on the campaign trail, obviously, I'm meeting so many different people. So, so, so before we get into, yeah, what, please introduce yourself in the beginning. Okay. Explain the ward you're running for. Who's your opponent? 
Absolutely. So I'm Kim Canoss. I've lived in the city of San Bernardino, specifically Ward 5. My family moved here in 1984. I hate giving that year because it gives my age away, but <laughs> so I've been in the city quite some time. You're younger than me. There we go, 21. I like that. Well, you're younger Math than everyone little... here. <laughs> I'll take you're that. Yeah. yeah, she is. I'll take it. <laughs> Run with it, girl. Yes, thank you. But yeah, so... um. <clears throat> I've been in the city a very long time. My family came here because of the base. My dad was a captain in the Air Force. Oh. Uh, so it was the base that brought us here. And my family loved San Bernardino and stayed. Um, now as an adult, me and my husband own a home here. We're raising our two kids here. And I've decided to stay. And I tell everyone, it is a choice. We all have a choice. Right. We choose to stay in San Bernardino because right. I love this city. I have such deep, strong community ties here. Mm -hmm. My friends that I've had since I was two years old still live up the street from me. Beautiful. So oh, it's awesome. not just like, they're not friends, they're family. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's what keeps me here. I know we have some things that we have to contend with. You know, We have to admit, San Bernardino does have its challenges, but we do have so many opportunities. Amen. And I think what really keeps me and motivates me from all the crazy because I think you have to be a little crazy to do the things that we do to really get involved. In, it is. It, it definitely is. <laughs> crazy passion. Okay. Yes. Let's call, let's call it passion. Yeah. You know, I don't I mind. Crazy, though. I, I do. I like it. Do. You know, you have I to be. I said I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> At least. words on me. <laughs> Robert just gave Jesse, me, uh, a cracker, and I straight got a parrot mouth now. I can't even talk. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Robert. <laughs> But yeah, no, you have to have that crazy passion to do the things that we do because it is all volunteerism. Yep. It really is. You know, I started the Vermont Revitalization Project, and that was me just responding to what you said, the negativity. Mm -hmm. I'd get on the Nextdoor app, and all I would hear was just negativity. Oh, that, that is just a negative. I never yeah, it is. on that. Yeah, thing. yeah it is. Unless yeah. they're talking about me, I ain't going. <laughs> so I just wanted to be more solution focused. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just focus on problems. So I got the neighbors together and we called up the city. And I have to say, our city's been wonderful. Mm -hmm. You know, I've had really good experiences. I called up our Parks and Rec, Matt Douglas, who's still with the city. This was a few years ago. And I said, how come we don't have movie nights in the park over in the Vernamont area? And he's like, well, we did, but you guys didn't come to them. You know, we'd have yeah. them, they'd be empty. So I begged them, I said, please, if you guys can bring <coughs> it back, I will get the people there. Amen. I'll take accountability. And we literally made flyers and hit doors. I mean, hundreds. We were in parks passing out flyers. And that first movie night in the park, we had over 100 people. Wow. We had for you. trucks. We, got, we brought in the local business what was, community. What was the movie? Oh, goodness. That's a good question. Yeah, they, I'm sure I could look at the flyer and find out. They had some good ones, right? They've yeah, always yeah. had some great ones, yeah. But we brought in the local business community because, again, it's community. And our right. businesses are part of the community. Yeah. Right. So I wanted to make sure that we integrate them as well. So we got swag bags and put like they made special coupons just How for awesome is yeah, that? yeah it was so yeah. fun it was so fun the community loved it and then the next one we had over 300 people were awesome. in our local wow. park. Wow. There were so many That's people, they nice. couldn't hear the movie. Oh. So the city had to invest in bigger equipment. Oh, wow. That's just how yeah. big it was. Good, Good. job. Yes. yes. I like to so, hear that. I know, I love it because just what we were talking about, just it brings a community together. Mm -hmm. One thing that just was a goal when we started was we wanted to have that sense of community again. Mm. I grew up, we did life with our neighbors. We had dinner with our yeah. neighbors. Yes. We were you in were and out of neighbors the when you were at home. Exactly. Fireworks every yes. fourth. Yeah. <laughs> but I saw that that changed. And I know it's like with social media, technology, you know, times have changed. Very much but so. we got broken into when we bought our house, literally within the first month. Mm. And it sucked because of all the things, you know, I'm not a materialistic person. I didn't have anything really of value. So they didn't get anything but this really old laptop. But it had all the photos of my mom who I lost to cancer. So it hurt so bad. And that really, I'm going to be honest, was kind of like the precursor to me getting involved. I started a neighborhood watch because I, as we knocked on doors to ask, hey, did you see anything, any cars? Not only did anyone not see anything, no one knew each other. Yeah. yeah. Literally, they lived right across from the street from each other. Yeah. They didn't know each other. That's pretty sad. Yeah. So it's just, again, times have really changed to where the community just isn't the same. Neighborhoods don't do life with each other anymore. It, it, it's so yeah, A lot of times yeah. it's, it, it's sad. Like, I've, two of my neighbors I've known my whole life. But the rest, um, 
there was like what they call a, a flight of mm -hmm. people out of our neighborhood. But we don't do that anymore, yeah. where you welcome, you greet your neighbor, yeah. bring them I up do. No, no, I do. I'm no, I'm I, I still that. am the Where? avocado me. king, let me tell you. <laughs> I, I need to get on your list. You come by <laughs> with avocados to your neighbor? <coughs> I love tacos, that. They That's send good. Good. Yeah. 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 But See, but is, we need more of yeah. that. We and do and I do try to encourage that online. I say, take a time today. Give something to your neighbor. Go meet them. Shake yeah. their hand. Yeah. Give them a potted plant with your phone number on it. Yes. Right? Is there a problem? But we were happy oh. to take yeah. it into the community. So that's right. what Movie Nights in the Parks did for us. And I'm happy, talking about the love of San Bernardino, um, there is a business owner. Unfortunately, he left the city because of just all the issues he was yep. having with his, he was a longtime business owner. But that's understandable. I know. I totally get right. it. Yep. I do. He, um, I was able to secure from him $40,000 for our community. I wow. led the charge to save the Vermont Community Center. That was our next goal. Mm -hmm. um, we, Our previous CM, well, a couple CMs ago, because we keep changing hands, um, wanted to tear down the Vermont Community Center and not replace it. Mm -hmm. And I, we were like, that's ridiculous. You know, we already are working with a community center that was like half done, basically. Right. And now you're not going to give us anything. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a, another place-making event. That's a place for senior citizens to come. That's yeah. a place for our youth. Amen. So we fought for that and we were successful. Amen. We didn't get exactly what we wanted. We're still fighting for an actual brick and mortar, but it was something. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, you, you saved it. Yes. Otherwise, it would have been gone. There's a lot of activities that came out of that center. There for is. The youth. You know, the first summer that it opened, mm -hmm. The, she unfortunately left our city, but Erica Rodriguez, she was amazing. And so she was a program coordinator there. And I remember her calling me and she said, Kim, I had to close the summer camp registration. And I'm like, geez, like what happened now? She said, no, no, no. The response was so overwhelming. Yeah. Yeah. I can't accommodate all the kids that want to sign up. I had to close it. And we both were in tears. Beautiful. That's why I fought for that community center. Mm -hmm. That's the reason it why. Was, it, was, it was not being underutilized. No, it, not at all. Sometimes the money is just. And we know our city. It's to use it the right way. Well, I, we know our city. We had the longest bankruptcy in U.S. Yeah. history. Yeah. Yeah. So we know we're coming off of a financial, um, you know, and, and situation. And the largest Square mile cities, the biggest yeah. Yeah. Country. Yeah. The biggest yeah. So again, we recognize our challenges, but that's where we come in as a community. I think that oftentimes we point fingers a lot, but we all have a role to play Amen. here in the city. All of us do. What is your What is your vision for your, the ward that you're running for? So I would really like to uh, leverage the the asset that we have. We have Cal State San Bernardino University. Oh, <laughs> yes, I attended Cal State, and my family originally is from Birmingham, Alabama, so we're all about Roll Tide, you know, it, mm -hmm. I've never felt like I lived in a college town, mm -hmm. and again, I grew up there. It's a commuter school, it, it really is. Well, that, I was just on the campus the other day, and I, I didn't want to be like a weirdo, but you know, I was stopping <laughs> random people that had on their gowns, mm -hmm. and I just asked them, you know, you're graduating, you know, do you live in the city, and would you consider living in the city? Every single one of them said no. That broke my heart. We're not doing enough to keep our college educated grads here in the city. We're not also doing enough to actually give them work opportunities here. Yeah. It's, it, it's a constant. Yeah. I mean, I had a, I've been, it must have been at least eight years, I'd say. Why is there not interns directly coming every single year from Cal State for a class there's, in our city? There's so much. So I mean, even barely, with the, they, they actually had the, the I was also arguing for high school student ambassadors yeah, for a long time. I, yeah. That will never get mentioned either. But guess what? We got finally. We did finally. Yeah. I and, did and see sure that. Some <laughs> all, everyone else will take credit. That's fine. Take Thank, you Thank, Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Robert. Robert yes. Yes. But like these are the things that we need. We need to involve our high schools, our colleges. Absolutely. You know, Valley College needs a team there too. Right? We, we need synergy here. But, but Again, we have so many workers, assets. Now, I'm not yeah. throwing, just going to throw it on you, but that's where our council members need to step up and kind of guide these kind of projects, right? Because mm -hmm. the, the staff, they, they're they overworked as it is. I don't well, we are short-staffed. You know? We've been short-staffed. You were a city employee, so you know firsthand yes. that, unfortunately, after the bankruptcy, we were... We cut to the we, bone! We did. We did. And then oh. slice some bone off. Uh, I do. Um, how, how can um, people support your, your campaign efforts? So I do have a website. It's votekimkanoss.com. So please 
visit the site. You can see more about my platform, what I stand on, what's really, you know, and it's not just about me. I want to know that with my involvement in the community, as you guys know, I've been involved for a long time. I also helped uh, create SB Food Fest, our downtown food festival. Um, I'm also a board member on We Are the Change San Bernardino. So yeah. we've done cleanups all over the city. Lots Clean and lots of yes, I mean, tons and tons of trash have been cleaned up with Elisa, Le Louise Ojeda's big orange truck. Um, so, shout out to Louise. Yes. Hey. I'm sorry, brother. I'll make the rose apple eventually. <laughs> At that Thai spot on Hospitality Lane. I need to go visit it. Hey. The, the spot on Hospitality Lane, the Thai spot. Go visit it. Hey now, hey now. So yeah, I, I mean, just being involved, you hear the perspectives, the opinions, and I think we have to realize it's not all about us, the issues that we have, but also the opportunities that we have, they're bigger than us. And that's where we just really need to come together. What San Bernardino needs is a collective vision. We have too much of the I. Mm -hmm. You know, people come in with their agendas, what I want to do. Of course, I have my, you know, thoughts. I have a, you know, brain that keeps going, <laughs> keeps me up. That's, those, yeah. but don't let them they're our visionaries, right? <clears throat> yes. So yeah. you have to embrace them. And if you want them on your team, it's not always easy. And it's not, it doesn't always work out great. So sometimes it is good to have a few. Well, I consider parades, myself to like be in the same <laughs> direction, right? But like, I've tried to integrate teams a few times and had it blow up in my face All right. and made it my fault. <laughs> Right, wow. so so if they're willing to do it, you know, and we can do good at bringing people together. But sometimes it's good to have those, you know, those well, leaders you know, it's, in their groups, yeah, because the they're like, still doing stuff. The, the, what is it? The pathway to hell is good intentions, or what? <laughs> <laughs> like that. I, I just see it like this: that like alpha people don't always get along. Mm. Well, it depends. I, I consider I have a pretty strong personality, so I own that. But nobody I, here has a strong personality. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Mike Tyson said it best. We all got a plan until you get punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> right? yeah. You know, and I, well, well, I think that's the thing. Being involved in community, I, I've been punched in the face quite a bit with words. I mean, I've even had someone slam the door on my baby in a stroller. Mm. I mean, the things that I've had to put up with, just trying to help my community mm -hmm. um, God bless you. yeah so I mean for me what a baby warrior <laughs> yeah, yeah, dedicating this show to the, to, the, to the children warriors of our town uh, and Kim I have a question oh, yeah them. absolutely um, who is running against you oh so the so I the incumbent of course Ben Reno so also mm -hmm. um, our former council person Chas Kelly um, he's running again and then um, I think there are two other people that have thrown in their hat. So the okay. closing period is the 8th, December. this Friday. Yeah. Papers? Yes. So, so okay. do you yeah. feel like uh, um, Mr. Kelly is a, a, a valid Bell candidate? Like, I think everyone's a viable candidate. Yeah. We all have our reasons. Mm -hmm. um, and so, I mean, I don't discount That's anyone. That's very well put. Yeah. yeah the, so. the reason I ask is he's getting back into it, but he, you know, he, did his, he did his time for mm -hmm. what he did wrong. Yeah. Um, that's understandable. We make mistakes. Or Absolutely. Whatever, right? mm -hmm. But uh, but like this, like I haven't seen him involved I, a little bit with the Vermont Community Center was the only time I ever saw him involved at all. Yeah. So to come back into the game makes me think that you're a plan. Mm -hmm. I don't know for sure, right? So I, I, I can't answer that. Yeah. Carpet baggers. You, you, you're you're <laughs> welcome to come on and, and tell me you're not too. Please do, sir. But, yeah, so yeah, sure. I can't answer that, and yeah. I'm not here no, to no. disparage anyone. Okay. I think, do you, do you know, think that happens in our politics? Oh, probably. We yeah, because I can guarantee <laughs> yeah, we it. Know it. We know it. But yeah. I don't know who. I don't know every single one, but I've yeah. already counted a few. No, um, I just have to focus on so me. So you're going to focus right on your campaign yeah. and just keep punching through. I am. Like I said, what, I've been on the scene for a while. I'm not do new about here, Oxbow? so. Oh, that's a good one. Yes, so, yes, mm -hmm. and I've been asked that a lot. So first and foremost, I took the time to research because I had no idea what on-site crushing was. I'm not in construction. I will be the first to tell you I know what I don't know. I will never claim to be a know-it-all. So the first step I did was contact AQMD. I talked to quite a few representatives, spent over an hour on the phone with one of them. 
I also got the toxicology report because there's a lot of information floating around. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, well, unfortunately, it's opinions. Mm -hmm. There's a lot. Mm -hmm. You can just go on the Nextdoor app. You can go on Facebook. And <laughs> there's all kinds <laughs> of NIMBYs on there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, you know, my uncle's cousin said it's toxic. My you know, <laughs> so I had to verify for myself. So I actually have the toxicology report that says it's not toxic. However, I have that. My community doesn't. Mm. My community wasn't given the same opportunity. They didn't stay on the phone with AQMD for an hour. That's just a personal conversation that I had. So with the previous well, interim CM, I had requested that we actually have a meeting with the actual like necessary parties involved, like AQMD, so that we can actually all have the same information so that we can make an informed mm -hmm. decision. Because so, that's what's needed. So, Our so, this is the thing though. Okay. We have five minutes so Okay, okay. I'll be quick. Okay. It should have never been brought there. The mm -hmm. fact that that rubble was brought up Palm Avenue is a travesty. Truly, truly. And the, what it's a fact now is we have to choose the best of the worst. There is no great so outcome it, to obvious. this. It's obvious it's grinding on site, team. It's I can't say that's obvious, but it, well, no, it's either obvious. way, the if we if we remove money, it. Two million dollars to move it. Oh, it's probably more now, yeah. because keep in mind that was two yeah, years yeah, ago. Yeah, so inflation, like, no we all know. Yep. So it's probably I more. A, I am yeah. a former construction worker, and I have worked with grinding, especially with an archaeological sense, yeah. with stuff that had asbestos and anything you can imagine in it, and they still mitigated it perfectly. Yeah, and that's and what you, sure, AQMD yeah. did tell me. There's medication, med, mitigation yeah, yeah. Um, that is does take place with the on-site crushing. They actually certify the on-site crushing machines. So those machines are actually permitted by AQMD. Mm -hmm. So it is a regulated process. So I learned a lot, but I would like for my community to be able to learn that too. As they so, should. Exactly. As they should. So I, as you know, if I do win, I don't want to come in as an elected and just, you know, be a dictator and say, this is what I want to do. You know, I live right there. I am literally right there. My kids, both my kids go to school right there. So it does impact me, but as it impacts me, it impacts my neighbors right. too. Mm -hmm. Yep. So and it, it, it really impacts um, the nature around there too because the dust is flying mm -hmm. off. It's not put back into the ground where it belongs. Um, so we're going to have to do something here, team. Uh, I, this is a definite point of contention between you and, and the current council member. Mm -hmm. um, he really wants that moved from you. And that's fine, but it's not an I yeah. thing. It can't be what I want well, or what it be. The votes for it, well, right? it can't be an yeah. I, and it can't be what just a few yeah. people in the community you want. Be an yeah, I in the council yeah. You not even in the community, five, because right? as I go around and I'm talking, I hear a lot of people, different opinions. So we do need to come to a consensus as a community. It yeah. cannot be an I yeah. thing. Absolutely. So uh, I would suggest go do another test, double up on them, test 30, 40, 50 different spots. Make sure it's not contaminated, it's not exactly. and then we'll be, you know, we'll feel more comfortable about that report yeah. that you have that we don't feel comfortable with. Yeah. And actually, I did know about that report. I so think this, a lot of people yeah, do. If you were but at the meeting yeah. for these things, they, they explained all this to me. So I kind of got it, but some people weren't believing the report. That's so, that, <laughs> so that's it. That's where the one point of contention is for yeah. me. So if, if they can make a report, a slow analysis better, well, and that's something oh, that I think oh. should have been done because, again, it's been there for two years. How come we didn't have the city it's commission a report? Years? Yeah, it's I, been wow. years. That, that, yeah. that, that is an awesome answer. <clears throat> thank you so much. And uh, I want to thank you for caring so much. Yes, oh, thank, thank you. you. Oh, thank you. We, you've done a lot more things than, than I've heard. So great job. Yes. Thank you. Awesome. you took that extra yep. step yeah. you yep. know, to actually do the research on it to find out what exactly it is and how it is affecting your community. Talk about a yes. community member, volunteer, volunteer, yes. volunteer. I don't know. That's, that's her name. I'm that's crazy. crazy. <laughs> In a good way. In a good way. All right. Are we getting closer, brother? I, I want to thank you all for showing up. Make sure everyone goes to the Christmas parade on yes. Saturday. Yes. Saturday at 10 I will see you there, team. And uh, we have the city meeting um, this Wednesday at 5 o'clock this time, team. So be there at 5 o'clock, right? Mm. This is Robert Porter with the I Love San Rio County Radio Show. And we all... And I'm a man who loves the blues Day or night I'm in the blues Love the music deep down 
so 